a pretty comfy day today. I can't uh, can't complain a whole lot. Uh, I you know, I like these kind of cool, slight breeze kind of a day. Mm -hmm. I, you know, enjoy it for while we have it because we know the summer heat's out ahead of yeah, us. Yeah, so I know. I enjoy this while, while it's here, but we do have some cooler weather coming in over the next couple of days as the light breeze becomes a stronger breeze. Right now, the cloud cover exiting out, leaving us with a partly cloudy sky central and south and mostly cloudy up to the north. But we are not too far away from our next storm system. It's kind of developing out over New Mexico and the plains of western Texas right now. That developing storm system will gradually make its way northeast over the next 24 hours or so, giving us a chance for some scattered showers late tonight, but a better chance late tomorrow into tomorrow night. We'll look at that on KSNT Future Track. Much of the cloud cover lifting to the north, still some clouds up north at 8 o'clock, but here comes more clouds tonight and maybe a couple of showers, but nothing widespread and the best chance to the northwest late tonight into Friday morning. Through the day Friday, 1 o'clock, we're still looking at mainly cloudy skies for much of the area, but also mainly dry, and some showers and storms will move through during the afternoon, but the best chance for showers and storms will start moving in as we head through overnight and into Saturday morning very early, but then lifting northward pretty quickly as well. And late in the morning and on through the middle of the day, things will actually dry out. We may even clear out for a large part of the area by Saturday afternoon. Temperatures right now continue to kind of hold onto that cooler mid to upper 50s north, low to mid 60s south. Definitely a cooler day across the region. And as we look at the winds currently out of the north and northwest at about 5 to 12. But when we look at KSNT Future Track's wind projection, they turn to the northeast. This is 1030 tonight, a light northeast wind. But notice by tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., getting closer to 10 miles per hour, turning more due east at times tomorrow and picking up to 10 to 25 miles per hour. So it's going to be a, a rather gusty breeze developing out ahead of those showers. And then once the rain comes in as well later Friday, kind of a cool rainy Friday late evening on into Friday night, but things will start to dry out at least partially for the weekend. Look over Manhattan, a beautiful evening out in the Little Apple through the capital city, mostly cloudy north and partly cloudy south right over the city right now. 62 degrees with a west northwest wind at eight miles per hour tonight down to 48, a chance of showers late, but I don't think we'll see most areas picking up on that rainfall. Just a little bit of that rain chance tonight. The rain chance going up quite a bit by late tomorrow into tomorrow night. That's our best chance for rain at about 80% chance high of 64 with some afternoon clearing. We should warm up to 68 on Saturday and that 30% chance for rain is mostly very early in the morning and then just a 20% chance on Sunday as things start to dry out. We cool off as well and then we really warm up. Some areas Sunday may not get out of the 50s, but by the time we're into the middle of next week, we'll be pushing 80 degrees once again as some beautiful weather moves back our way. See the creeks running high. That's Mill Creek from Todd Haywood. A look down the Kansas River from Brian Fox, as well as a view uh, over the Melbourne area. Beautiful, just partly cloudy sky there from Daniel Bowers and a hooded Oriole. Huh. Well, a different kind. I, you know, I was thinking the Baltimore Orioles that come around this time of year, but this one apparently a little bit different. A hooded Oriole taken from Lowell Johnson at Manhattan. Be honest. Did you have to look that up? No, he told me. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I would not have known the <laughs> I difference. Was say, I call you just all knew. <laughs> I call all of them Baltimore <laughs> Orioles, so I didn't realize that there was a, a different type. So. See, I'm even worse. I just call them all birds. All right, well, yeah. <laughs> that, that works too. <laughs>